Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Java on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. So first of all, to check whether Java is installed on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system, you can do a small check. And what you need to do is, you just need to go to this uh, window button here and just right click it and open command prompt. And in here, you just need to write Java C and press enter. And if you see Java C is not recognized uh, by your uh, command prompt, then Java is most probably not installed on your system. Now to install Java, we need to download Java first and then install it and then configure it on our Windows operating system. So first of all, we will install Java. So open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit. And the first link most probably will come here is from Java, uh, which is www.oracle.com slash Java slash Java SE. So just click this link and in here, you will uh, see this uh, two options for installing Java. So this option is Java for Windows and the other option this NetBeans options which is NetBeans is a IDE, IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and it helps you to you know create or it's just like an editor to make your Java programs. But right now we are only interested in uh, installing Java. So we are going to click this link. Now at the time of making this video, Java platform, you can see Java 8U25 is the latest version. So you can just click this Java icon here. And in here you have various options to download. But first of all, you can read all this or so whatever is written here and you can see looking for Java uh, and you need to ag accept the license and agreement first of all so I will just check this accept license and terms and conditions and then I will look for the option which is most suitable for my Windows operating system now there can be two kind of uh, Windows operating system. One is 32-bit and other is 64-bit. So my operating system is a 64-bit operating system. You can just check it uh, in your system information by going to the system uh, category. So I know that my system is a 64-bit operating system. So I will just uh, download this link which is JDK 8U25 Windows X86. Now, if your system is a 32 bit system, you need to download the upper link, which is for X Windows X86. X86 is for ja uh, Windows 32 operating system, and Windows X64 is a Windows 64 operating system, 64 bit operating system. So, I will click this link here. Now it will take some time to download this. I will just save this file. And you can see uh, it will take about one minute to download on my system. If you have faster internet, then it can take uh, lesser time on your system. So first of all, I will let it download and then we will install it on our system. So I will just pause the video for now. So now install uh, download of this Java executable file or JDK is complete. So I will just open this executable file and then I will just run it. So I will say yes and it will uh, prepare the Windows installer for Java. And now the installation uh, can start. This is the setup window which we, you will see. You just need to click next. And in here, you just need to uh, click next here. And now it will take some time.
to uh, get the status and then to install Java on your system. Now you just need to wait for a while while this Java is installing. But I was talking about uh, knowing your system uh, type, right? So you can know whether your system is 64 bit or a 32 bit by just going to the search option and search for system system and in here you will be able to see system type and my is mine is 64 bit but if it's a 32 bit you will be able to see here 32 bit operating system with uh, x86 based processor okay so if you are confused which uh, type of system you have you can just go to the system and check which kind of system you have okay now you can see it's executor executing uh, installer and it's just finishing this getting the status right so you just need to wait uh, for the process to complete it can take some time so I will just pause the video and uh, let this process complete and it says the destination folder of this Java so by default it will be uh, C program files Java and JRE 8.1 point depending upon the version now what is JRE JRE is a Java, Java runtime en environment and this helps uh, your Java programs to run on your system so you just need to click next here if you want to change the directory you can change but I will prefer the default path so you don't, don't need to change anything right click next and just let the process complete so I will pause the video and I will wait for this process to complete and then I will com continue And now you can see here uh, that Java is installing. The process is going on. Three billion devices uh, run Java nowadays. And installing Java. Okay, and it says Java SE development kit update successfully installed. Now, click next step to access tutorial or something. So, if you want to learn Java, then you can click this next tab and it will open something in your browser. Whatever tutorial you may, uh, you know, see to learn Java, but right now it's not important. You can go here when you click that but I will just click close here okay now what I will do is I will go to the place where I have installed Java so I will go to uh, the folder in C folder I need to go to program files and in here I can see this Java folder here and here I can see two uh, two parts one is JDK and one is JRE right now in order to uh, set this Java to my environment variable so that it can recognize uh, this Java C command I just need to configure environment variable so what I will do here is I will just change the name of this JDK 1. Point whatever version little bit simple name I will give it so that I can remember it so I will rename it and I will name it as JDK 8 because it's Java 8 and similarly I can just right click and change the path of this JRE folder as JRE 8 okay now once you go inside this JDK folder you will see some more folders here one of them is bin folder and here all the executable files are here which uh, are required by Java to uh, compile your program so just copy this uh, path where uh, these executable files are c program files slash java slash jdk8 which is uh, renamed by me slash bin 
so just copy this folder name and then what you need to do is once again go to your search tab and search for system once again and in here in system you just need to go to advanced settings and in here go to environment variables and in here in the system variable category you just need to search for path and just uh, select this path variable and click add it and in here you will see so many things what you need to do simply is go to the last I'll just uh, minimize this so you just need to go to the last and give a semicolon here give a semicolon in the variable value and then just copy the same path this uh, java bin folder so c program file slash java slash jdk8 slash bin just copy this path and give it here at the last after semicolon okay give this path here and once again give a semicolon here at the last and i will go back a little to the java folder and then once again i will go to the jre folder so go to java folder and then jre8 folder and then go to bin folder and same you need to do here just copy the path go to this environment variable uh, section and paste it here this time you don't need to give uh, this semicolon uh, you can leave it as it is so you just need to give these two paths for set setting your environment variable i will click ok click ok once again click ok and everything is set now once again i will check whether java is really installed in my system or not earlier if you remember i will right click this uh, window button here and i have opened uh, this command prompt and i have given the java c command java c and earlier it was not uh, responding or it was not recognized by my system but this time when i, I when i execute this java c command here and press enter i can see different options for this java c command and here it says java c is uh, can be used with some options and the source file that means you ne just need to give uh, your source file name for example uh, hello world.java to compile your uh, uh, hello world.java program using uh, this java c command so java c command is just a compiler command to compile your java program so in this way you can install java on your windows 8 or windows 8.1 operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now